Now, what if you had a model? What if your model had a single element, or you needed to apply different texture types using a single material, and you couldn't do work with the multi sub object or something? You're under some special circumstances which prevented you from working with a single material. Where you had to work with a single material and you couldn't work with multi sub objects. How would you like approach doing something like that? Building a material made of multiple textures. Texture, I should say texture, your types. Okay. What you can do is utilize a blend material. There's something like a blend material. Depends on what kind of program you're working with. This way, you can control where different materials appear on your model through a mask. So the position of the different materials is not dependent on polygons. It's dependent on, well, pixels. I will demonstrate. Let's see here, blend material so this is my blend material. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna make this guy unique, unique, make unique, cooperate with me. Where's my unique? Oh, here we go. Shift drag. Make unique. This guy. I don't need this guy either. Shift drag. That should copy it. Shift drag to copy. Make unique. Apply this guy to my 3D Max to my model. Exit the element level first. And what is going on here? Oh no, it's all metallic. Oh, didn't mean that. You see, what's happening here is that everything, it's only like displaying everything that's in material 1. Now you need a mask to get stuff from in material 2. To show up. Unfortunately, I already generated a mask. Now, what you can do in order to generate a mask is, in order for, well, blah, 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 blah. I feel like I'm tripping over my own words here. Level with me for a second. In order to, like, generate a mask, What you can do is get the UV map of your object here. UV unwrap. UV map of your object here. As you can see, I've already got it like UV and unwrapped and whatnot. And then you render out a template. What's the standard these days? 2048? And then you. Oh, 
Oh, here it is. My render window. Save it. You can save it as an, a JPEG, an image, or what have you. You bring her into Photoshop. And then you can proceed to invert it and like modify it. And do do what have you with it. Now all all everything I'm selecting here is um is like the leather aspect of it i'm not really certain which part is supposed to be leather like what which part is white and which part is black let's just try color selection inverse select in verse There we go. Save, save. Save my chair mask. Alright, let's see what this gives us. I have no idea how this thing is going to turn out. Ah! Success! First try, first guess, and it came out the right way. So as you can see... Where is my material browser? Yeah. As you can see here, anything that is in Material 1 is, is white. White is Material 1. Mat number 1. Mat number 1. And mat number 1. And anything that is black is going to be Material 2. There you go. So how or why is this useful? Well, it may not seem by much. I'll be. Uh, you gotta keep in mind I'm using like extremely basic, ex extremely simple um, models to like just to explain how to do this and what these things are. It's the basics, very basic things. But this could be like used in some like relatively interesting ways. Uh, for instance, what if you wanted to create something like... What if you wanted to create something like really cool like Arnold Schwarzenegger's Terminator with his 
with um, some subsurface scattered skin over here and some metallic chromey stuff over here. You could like totally do something like that if you're using like this kind of a, a, a blending technique with like masks. Because like doing something like this with a really complex geometry would would probably be like significantly more difficult and wouldn't be like a very easy thing to manage with just using with like using multiple different like materials and things like that. General rule of thumb I've learned to keep into practice. One model, one material. Because the problem that like, I found myself having when having when I try to use like too many different materials for a single model is that when I'm trying to edit the model or the materials or the material or, and the model or the UVs or vice versa, like the different UVs will sort of overlap and it gets convoluted and confusing so try and keep it simple this should th this is just another approach another way of helping you to like manage things well uh, that's pretty much all I wanted to cover I found this to be pretty helpful and useful I wish someone had shown me how to do this I hope that you find it to be helpful and useful and beneficial to you so until like next time keep being creative be creative have fun, enjoy yourself, peace out.